Thank you all for being subscribers to Drop the Needle. Here's what's going on in this issue. First is Star of Indiana's 1993 production, The Music of Barber and Bartok, featuring the American composer Samuel Barber and the Hungarian composer Béla Bartok. Most of the music came from Barber's Medea's Dance of Vengeance. This would be Star of Indiana's last year in competition. Towards the end of the season that year, the heat between Star and the cadets of Bergen County became fierce, and the cadets would ultimately clinch the championship that year by, I think, two-tenths of a point, as I recall. Star would go on to become the Broadway sensation and Tony Award-winning production, Blast. Star's 1993 production was one of a kind, and like most of Star's shows, was ahead of its time. They made some choices that seemed bizarre at the time, but would seem positively banal by today's tolerances. It wouldn't take much to update the design of that nearly 30-year-old show to make it competitive today. The design required amazing focus from its members. One of the big effects from the design of the show came from the choice to keep the horn line relatively quiet for the first two-thirds of the show or so. Uh, and they really don't start really playing loudly uh, until about eight and a half minutes into the show. The first two-thirds they are playing very, very well and very, very sensitively, but they don't really let the horn line loose until the end. Uh, and even though many of the activity were slow to understand and appreciate this choice, the fans got it, as you can hear at the end of their performance. Next is the Cavaliers 2002 championship show, Frameworks. The Cavaliers Drum and Bugle Corps is from Rosemont, Illinois, which is a village near the O'Hare Airport. They are playing original music, uh, music that uh, was written specifically for this show. Every single count of this show is exquisite in its design and execution. The visual design by Hall of Famer Michael Gaines is a masterwork. It has both innovation and tradition. It has design elements that shouldn't work together, but do. It has a barn-burning ending, and the final drill move, while treacherously difficult, is marched to perfection. It's just the best of the activity. This show is a classic and will hold up for a very long time. Other interesting trivia here is that uh, the previous corps, Star of Indiana, they were playing on the traditional G bugles. Cores began switching from the G bugles to B-flat instruments in 2000, and in fact the Cavaliers were the last corps to win the championship playing on G bugles in 2000. They tied the cadets who were playing on the newer, uh, well newer to the activity, B-flat instruments. Uh, this Cavaliers show, uh, they were playing on the newer B-flat horns. Next is Carolina Crown's 2013 production, E equals MC squared. It's their first championship season. Carolina Crown is from Fort Mill, South Carolina, which is just south of Charlotte. Noticeable is that from an evolution of the activity standpoint, their show looks a lot like Star of Indiana's show from 20 years ago. There aren't that many props. Uh, and the style of, of body movement and drill movement is very, very similar. Also noticeable is electronic amplification. Voiceover-like speaking is amplified, as are the front ensemble percussion instruments, so the, music, the musicians can focus on quality of sound as opposed to just making any sound that's loud enough to be heard over the horn and battery percussion. Every section of the core and every section of the horn and drum line is exposed at some point in the show. You can also see that the step style, the step style is with a flatter foot. The old days of, of, of stepping with the heel as high as it can go and, and going heel toe, heel toe, those are gone. Uh, this is for the sake of the sound of the brasses at the faster tempos and larger step sizes. The sound, the sound of the brasses are amazingly unanimous. Um, the tone, pitch, volume, articulation, expression, and phrasing are about as the same from player to player as can be. All this while taking huge steps at very fast tempos, their accomplishment is as much athletic as it is musical. E equals MC squared is a delicate mix of tradition and innovation that paid off for them, and their gold medal finish was well-deserved.
There we go. I hope you enjoyed this free Laniop issue of Drop the Needle. Please consider becoming a paid subscriber for only $5 per month or $55 per year to get issues like this and all the weekly issues of great music literature and repertoire performed by the best artists and ensembles available on the internet. That's it for me. Now be loved and be lovely. <laughs>